Hello there everyone and welcome to another episode of Irish Health Hour Chats. Today I am talking to a multitude of wonderful women who, and we're talking actually about a, a family wellness day that's coming up in Loch Ray in Galway on the 16th of June 2018. And it's a, it's a day where therapists are coming together to bring a whole collection of, to show people I suppose ways that they can look after their health in other ways. So without further ado, I'm going to introduce to you the lady that, whose brainchild it was and who's organised it. It's Denise Christie from Health and Harmony in Loch Ray. Good morning, Denise, and welcome. Morning, Dolores. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> Good morning. So, Denise, it's great to have you here, and it's, it's a fantastic to, to, to get together and to bring a group of people together to, to showcase, I guess, to people that there are other ways of dealing with our health, our health should I say, um, and to let people know, I suppose, the different ways that we can go forward and look after our health in a more natural way, I guess. Yes, well, that, I suppose that was the brainchild of the whole um, the whole operation, really, was just to give people different options um, so that they were either bringing themselves back to health through natural options or they were ensuring that they weren't slipping into ill health by making the wrong decisions about um, nutrition, about exercise, you know, all the bundle, really, everything that kind of encapsulates good health. Um, can be kind of improved upon, can be generated just by taking greater care of yourself without waiting until you've reached ill health and you need medicine to cure a symptom. I love it because sometimes, you know, it's afterwards we hear about something and we think, oh gosh, I wish I had known about that before and I could have, um, I could have, you know, maybe taken that supplement or I could have gone for that therapy. It sounds like it suited me, it would have suited me. So it's fantastic. So Denise, uh, will you let us know where it's on and um, more about that? Okay, so it's on in the Lockray Family Resource Centre, which is on Pickett Street. Um, people in and around Lockray might still know it as Seasons, and then the older ones of us, like myself, will probably remember it as the old ESB building. So um, they're probably the, kind of the three things that people would remember about where exactly it's on. So it starts at two o'clock, it finishes at seven, and basically it's a fundraiser. The, the Lockray Family Resource Centre try as much as possible to give back to the community. Um, they're part funded, but a lot of their funding is through donations and through fundraisers like this. And they offer a really good um, counselling service, which is very low cost, but obviously that has to be subsidised in some way. Um, so Saturday's fundraiser is all in aid of their low cost counselling service, which at the moment there's an awful lot of mm. um, mental health issues and it's an essential service. So I think it's one that really deserves some extra funding. I think that's wonderful and I think it's great to, you know, not alone is the event happening in the community, but you're also giving back to the community, which I think is wonderful uh, and inviting the community and the greater area obviously around it for people to showcase some therapists that are actually local and some of us that are not as local, but you know, that's okay too. Yes. But, um, how's the day going to run? Um, there are therapies and talks going on at the same time, is that right? That's right. So there's a, the main room, the, the therapy room, where there'll be... Um, there's 10 therapists giving treatments in that room. Um, we also have um, 10 speakers on the day as well, and the, the speakers are amazing. Um, and I'm so thrilled that the, the, the kind of the people that have agreed to come on board, because... Um, when you work in the wellness industry, you kind of build a tribe. And I feel like my tribe is all kind of amalgamated in the one place on the one day. And, and I'm really excited about that because they're bringing, each bringing something very individual, very unique to the table. That's great, it sounds fantastic. And we, and we, we go back to you, um, I'm gonna start introducing some of the, the wonderful therapists and uh, people that have products there on the day. But we will go back to maybe you letting us know about uh, the people that that aren't here today, you can let us know what talks are going on as well. So firstly, I just want to say good morning to Therese Minahan and welcome. Therese is from Therese Minahan Wellness. And we, Therese, if you want to let us know who you are and what you do and what you're going to be offering on the day, as well as possibly some other services that you have to offer people if they want to contact you outside of the day as well. Hello, Therese. Good morning. Hi, Dolores, and hi, everyone else that's on the call. Um, yeah, my, so my name is Trees Meenhan and my business is called Trees Meenhan Wellness. I'm based in Carlisle in County Galway. And um, so I 
um, have people come to me at my treatment room here because I offer reflexology and I offer Indian head massage. Um, what I also do is uh, life coaching and another modality called quantum thinking technologies. And I kind of did them gradually. I started off with the, the uh, reflexology and the Indian head massage. But what I found then, Dolores, is that when clients were coming to me for reflexology, there was a lot of kind of emotional stuff going on and a lot of um, unwanted behaviors that were kind of stopping people from going forward and achieving the things they wanted to do, whether that was in health and wellness, their career or business, their relationships, um, all those different areas. And like my, my um, theory is that like to balance, all, to have the, the happiest life that we can have and to, to live our greatest life that we possibly can, um, to, to have all those areas balanced. Um, and with the life coaching, I would have had clients come to me and they want to achieve certain goals, we we'll say in their business, maybe they've been in a career and they want to, they have this passion that they want to set up a business. Uh, a couple of the clients I had recently, and they, they were very clear, they had great clarity on the goals that they, they wanted um, to achieve. But there was this, there was something holding them back. And that's where the, the quantum thinking technologies comes in because sometimes we, our conscious mind will say, I want to do this, um, but then our subconscious, because of patterns that we've built up over the years, usually since we're very young or even before that, um, and they stay stuck, stuck in our system. And when we release those, it can have a huge effect because it neutralizes those um, negative emotions. And then we take the action without any, any trouble and we can move forward much quicker. So that's um, really what I'm about, kind of releasing the, the crap from the past, if you like, and uh, kind of moving forward with the, the things that we want to achieve because we all have huge potential and we're only living a fraction of it really. So um, that's, that's um, what I'm about. And on, on Saturday, I'm really excited. I'll be um, offering some mini reflexology treatments on the day and um, also mini um, quantum thinking technology uh, consultations. And my talk will be on releasing, you know, those blocks um, and talking Great. about the, the conscious mind, a little bit about that and the subconscious mind. Because sometimes when we, um, have you know can understand our mind better then we can kind of um you know release things more easily and just get on with what we want to to live our best lives really absolutely that old inner saboteur that keeps popping up its head and stopping us in our tracks when we want to do mm -hmm. as you say there i mean we don't live our life to our full potential mm -hmm. and i know a few of the speakers are talking similar veins as to but with just different methods and it's great because I think the more we hear it about living our, uh, and our ability to co-create the life we want, if we can get rid of the crap, as you say yourself, exactly. that's pushing us back. And we all have our own stories and it's just built up and it's, it, it, it is the way it is. So, mm. Therese, where are you based for people if they wanted to contact you outside of Saturday, if they can't make it? But of course, we do hope they can make it. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Well, my Facebook page is Trades Meenahan Wellness. Um, and you'll be able to find me there. My contact details are on there. So, yeah, I, I um, am based in Carlisle, County Galway. Um, but I also do uh, coaching and QTT online. So um, okay. I've, I've coached people in, in different parts of the world. And uh, so, yeah, both of those places. So Trades Mean and Wellness is my Facebook page. Great. I'll put up the link anyway and I'll share it out with your link in it. So it's great to know that actually we can these days, uh, modern technology that we have, even we're on Zoom here this morning and we're, we're, we're calling in from all parts of uh, county, which is great. So we can actually yeah. do coaching online, which is absolutely wonderful. So, Therese, thanks a mil. Um, if you've forgotten anything or you want to pop back in later. Great. No. Um, thanks, Dolores. Not at all. I mean, look, and I look forward to, uh, to seeing you Saturday, too. I might get one, yeah. a, a reflexology treatment. Absolutely. And thanks to Denise for organising it. It's great to bring us all together. It is indeed. <laughs> Okay, so um, I might get you to, to, if you're not speaking, I might just get you to mute actually, because it's just a little bit, bit of background noise. So Sharon uh, Mullins, we have next. Sharon is going to be with, uh, there on Saturday uh, with her beautiful products from Forever Living. And I think it's great there again. It's, a, it's great to have, you know, we can, we can be coached and we can have all these other wonderful therapies, but sometimes we actually need to look after ourselves and take supplements to help us as well. So, Sharon, without further ado, you're welcome. And tell us about what you're going to have with you on Saturday and how, how your products can actually benefit people. 
Yeah, thank you very much, um, Dolores, for organising the call this morning. Not at all. For organising the day on Saturday. I'm so looking forward to seeing all the therapists and, and hearing all the talks. But um, I will be there. I've started with Forever Living, um, Dolores, just over four years ago. And it really was, I became very, very interested in the products uh, for their health and wellness. But I also was um, interested in the, um, in the model. I had three children. My youngest was six months old and I wanted to bring in an income working from home. Um, so I started with um, some of the products here. A lot of people will be very, I suppose, familiar with our products. And um, the brand awareness around Forever Living and around our range of products is actually quite high. Um, a lot of people have taken the, the drink. Yes. So I love this drink. Um, I rarely am at the doctor. My children are rarely at the doctor. Um, in this drink alone, we have, um, it's full of vitamins, full of your A's, your B's, your C, uh, your C and E, uh, full of any amino acids, um, your minerals. Um, you know, it's just fantastic. So when I look at this, I think of digestive health. So a lot of people would take this for their digestive health. And we have some fantastic, um, some fantastic testimonials on that. Um, some more, there's over 300 different products in the range. So I'll only have a sample. Yeah, I know it's huge, Doris. So I'll only have a sample there on Saturday. There'll be some to try and then there'll be some to purchase if you want to purchase. But it'll be most of our popular range. So a lot of people will be, um, will be very familiar with our deodorant. So this is free from aluminium salts, um, which is very, very dangerous. So um, that's a fantastic product, a really, really good product. We will also have our... These are just magic, our fish oils. Um, so 90% of us are actually deficient in, in good fats um, and in omega-3s. So um, this is a really, really fantastic product. Um, really, really good for our brain health, our mental health. Um, brilliant for children that are learning, doing exams. Um, a really, really great product. Um, very high grade, comes from the Arctic Sea. Uh, so the least polluted waters that we can get comes from the belly of the fish, not the liver of the fish. So very, very high. They're tiny the little capsules. They get into your system within 20 minutes of taking them. So very, very good. I have some of those there on Saturday as well. Um, another very popular product that we would have would be our tooth gel. Um, so this contains propolis, uh, brightens the teeth. It doesn't whiten the teeth, but it's very, very good for your oral um, um, health care and fantastic. You'll be able to try that out and taste it as well on Saturday. We'll have our fantastic aloe vera jelly, which everybody should have in their um, in their cabinet. Their What's that for, uh, Sharon? Actually, that one I am not familiar with that particular product. I have tried a lot of them, but right, okay. Well, this is literally like taking your aloe vera plant, uh, Dolores, and slitting it open. So, oh, really? Wow! So fantastic for cuts, bites, stings, sunburn. Brilliant for this time of year where there's lots of bites, lots of burns and stings, unfortunately. Mm. So and grazes. So we would use that a lot bruises all of those things absolutely brilliant can be used internally as well because it's very natural so all of the products have um you know they're natural products there's no chemicals no pesticides and um, they're you know over 40 years now in existence we're a global company we're in over 158 different countries um and it's just been fantastic it really has the products here have changed my own life i have suffered with acne uh, since i was 13 and since i started on the gels and taking some of the products here myself um, over the last four years, my skin has never been as good. Um, it glows now where I used to always have issues with acne. And um, so cosmetically, my skin looks um, a lot better than it used to. And That's great. Yeah, That's a nice benefit. benefit. <laughs> yeah, it's a brilliant benefit. It's a brilliant benefit. And plus, you know, just general um, health and wellness. But uh, I really look forward to Sasha. I look forward to showcasing the products. I'll be running a prize draw as well on the day. Um, and I'm going to be giving away one of our skincare <gasps> kits. It's an wow. kit. It's worth about 200 euro. Um, so uh, pop over to me on Sashay, fill out a form, and I'll pop you into uh, for a competition and we'll announce the winner. So uh, really looking forward to it. And thanks so much for the opportunity here this morning, Dolores. No problem. Um, so uh, Sharon, you know, after Saturday as well, if somebody was interested in, in getting your products, do you want to let people know how they can contact you? Or, you know, you, all, you also offer opportunities to people, isn't that right as well? Yeah, that's right. So um, you can contact me on Facebook. Um, I'll have some business cards in that on the day as well. But Facebook is probably the easiest way to get me. It's Sharon Mullins. Um, you'll see there it's under Forever Living. 
Um, I also do offer a work from home opportunity for women like myself that might be busy, that have children, maybe have been out of the workforce, that would like to earn an extra income from home, whatever that is, whether it's um, two to three to 500 euro per month, or maybe it's more, maybe it's a thousand euro to 2000 euro per month. And, um, you know, I'd be delighted to, to talk and to, to show you how you can help people uh, with these fantastic products, but also uh, build a business as well on the back of that. Great, Sharon. That sounds mighty. And I'm looking forward to trying out that jelly, actually. I never actually realized that it was like that, that that was like the slitting the plant open. And uh, because I have my own aloe vera plants here that I love, especially this time of the year and especially with the wonderful weather we have. But it's great to have actually one in a tube as well, isn't it? That you can Very <laughs> just bring out. <laughs> great. Look forward to seeing you Saturday, Sharon. Can't wait to see you. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, Sharon. So next um, up, I want to say hello. Good morning to Hilary. And Hilary is from Hand on Heart, Hilary Morgan. And without further ado there again, I'm going to let you introduce yourself, Hilary. You can take yourself off mute there and, and uh, introduce yourself and tell people what you're going to be doing on Saturday morning or Saturday afternoon even. <laughs> Sure. Good morning. Thanks very much, Dolores. Um, and lovely to see everybody this morning. And thanks again to Denise for bringing us all together. And yeah, um, Dolores, I primarily, um, my background is bioenergy, but I combine a lot of talk therapy. Um, I'm also trained in IET, which is integrated energy therapy or otherwise known as healing with the angels. I also do past life regression and I do a very new uh, modality in Ireland called future life progression. And something similar to what Therese said there, my um, keen interest, if you like, is looking at the emotional aspects of what's presenting physically in the human body. Because everything that presents um, physically has an emotional attachment. So if you can understand the emotional meaning and what your body is trying to communicate to you, it will very often just be the, the catalyst for healing in itself. Um, so my own background, I spent many years in the corporate world and my life was uh, catastrophically thrown up in the air when I lost my job. And it made me start to look at myself in a very different way and understand me. And I suppose the patterns that I had set up in my life, the emotional um, patterns that I was operating from and so on and so forth. And rather than, I went through a, a difficult period in my, t in my life, which was quite stressful and uh, highly, highly stressful and anxious. And rather than be medicated, I decided to really look towards the holistic route for my own well-being and care. And I had always had an interest in bioenergy in particular, having had difficulty after my first child was born with my back and I had bioenergy done and it cured it. So it was a case of just being given the opportunity to have a look at it. Um, over the course of the number of years I've trained in bioenergy, I also went to Slovenia to train under the auspices of uh, Zdenko Domencic, who is the originator, if that's the correct word to use for bioenergy, and very much um, opened my whole vista as to what energy work was about and bioenergy in particular it was very much in its raw state. So over the course of the last number of years, I've added on additional modalities. Um, I primarily deal a lot with um, talk therapy with people and then combine bioenergy with it. Um, you know, it's something again, similar to what Therese was saying there about the emotional issues of people. It's a very a strong interest with me. Um, in particular, childhood trauma and incidences that can happen as, as a child. And as we all know, as children, when things impact on us, we don't have the wherewithal, the experience or whatever to deal with them. We tend to just kind of freeze frame them, if you like. We put them on hold. And subconsciously, we tell ourselves that we'll come back and, and sort that out or whatever. But of course, more often than not, it never happens. And if you're in an environment as a child where something traumatic may happen to you and there is no help that comes to help you release that trauma and allow it essentially to mature and, and grow up with you, well, it stays at the age it was when it impacted you, so to speak. So when we go through life and we encounter situations that, if you like, mirror or trigger those feelings, well, then we are absolutely catapulted back to the age of perhaps eight, nine, 10, 12, whatever age you were, when, when that ability to 
deal with that emotion was uh, pretty much arrested. So this is what I do with people. I, if you like, it's like, it's like picking out uh, stitches from something to trace back the origin of where something was actually impacted, if you like. And I do some inner child work with people with that to retrieve their inner child energy and amalgamate it into what they are now in order for them to be able to, as I say, allow the energy to mature and become the age they are now and move on. And when that transformational release happens with people, it means that the trigger um, does not exist anymore. So you will now encounter similar situations that ordinarily would have brought up in a, a particular emotional response and you will find that it is neutralized and your response is now based on where you are at this present moment. So that, that's, that's very well put Hilary, well done. I love that the way you've, 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 uh, you've put that, it's great, fair play. Thank you. So in addition to that, Dolores, I, um, I last year undertook training in a very exciting modality that's very new in Ireland called future life progression. And we've all heard of and are familiar with past life regression, where you can actually take a person back to a past life. And again, um, you know, identify what blocks there are preventing them from moving forward in this life. But with the future life progression, again, it's accessing the subconscious mind in order for you to be able to have a look ahead to see um, if there are difficulties that you have in your life now, how it would be in, say, five years time or whatever, how you how your subconscious mind or your higher self can advise you to change them and so on. So it's quite exciting, very new, uh, very relevant for people who are in the corporate world trying to make business decisions, perhaps students who are not sure of particular modules to take and so on and so forth. So, yeah, very exciting stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And so what are you going to be offering on Saturday, um, Hilary? Yeah, on Saturday, um, I will be doing some mini bioenergy treatments. Um, I'm very happy to discuss any aspect of what I do or individual cases on a one-to-one -one basis with anyone who is there. Um, my friend, Margaret Cross, who is also a bioenergy therapist and who is a, um, she does a, a modality called Hidden Mind, which is vibration and kinesiology, is actually going to share the stand with me. So we'll both be doing um, individual and perhaps if it warrants it, uh, we'll be in tandem doing a, a double whammy <laughs> on people so um i would be primarily doing the bioenergy work and i also will have a draw for um a treatment with me on the day so I look forward to everybody visiting the stand that's great sounds wonderful gosh we have a we have we're going to definitely have a very exciting day saturday with all this so far and we're not even finished talking to everyone <laughs> most definitely most definitely look forward to it that's great, Hilary. If people want to contact you, um, how's the best way for them to do that? Yeah, um, I am based in Clare Galway. Uh, my Facebook page is actually still under the old name of Serenity Bioenergy. I have updated my name and I'm awaiting the changeover on, on Facebook at the moment. But my business is Hand on Heart Energy Healing for Serenity. And if, if, yeah, Serenity will find me. Great. Hand on Heart sounds lovely. Um, it's, a, it's a lovely name. Thank you very so, much. That's great. Thanks a million, Hilary. Uh, yeah. The reason, one of the reasons why I actually started on my journey into uh, energy medicine and everything, uh, I was in the legal world for almost 20 years until the recession hit and I was pregnant with my second child. And it was a blessing in disguise, obviously, as a lot of things are in life. But one of the first therapies that, um, that, I, that I used, now my sister was a Reiki master and an aromatherapy massage therapist. So I, I've always had oils and Reiki in my life. But homeopathy started me actually on the journey to um, training myself. Now, I'm not a homeopath, but we the next person, Fiona, who you can take yourself off mute there, Fiona, um, is, and I'm delighted that she'll be there on Saturday because when my son had an issue with, um, with asthma when he was about four, he was on antibiotic and he was on steroids um, and it just seemed to be constant and it nearly broke my heart to see such a small little boy uh, that had such bad um, asthma. So I, when, they, when I was told the, to put him on an nebulizer, I said, actually, can you stop for a minute and I'll come back to you on that one. So I went to a homeopath and for us it worked and that child didn't have asthma within like a crazy amount of time, you know. So as I say, it worked for us and I, I, I have homeopathic remedies in my house and they're the first thing I go for. Them are my essential oils when, when there's an issue in the house with anybody. I use Brionia for his chest and all that. But anyway, I ain't the expert here. I'm going to hand you over to Fiona from Holistic Clinic in Loch Ray, who's going to be there Saturday too, to tell you all about 
the wonderful therapy that is homeopathy. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, Dolores. Thanks very much. And thanks for, for sharing this call and making it all happen. And to Denise, thank you so much for inviting me. I'm, I'm really happy to be there. Um, so, yeah, I suppose I started homeopathy um, many, many years ago in 2004 when I was pregnant with my second eldest, um, sorry, second youngest, and I finished when I was pregnant again with my youngest. So it was all pregnancy and study was, was a big thing in, going on in my life. But I, it was just, as, as Dolores said, it was just the fact that it's constant, that there seems to be nothing else, only either antibiotic or calcol or neurofen and I just steroids steroid <gasps> exactly and I just said oh no I'm not going down that road so I started um with the tea that very simple and it was amazing it did wonders so I said well if this works for this maybe it's a little more interesting and I didn't realize when I started studying how amazing and how huge it is the, the lecturer came in the first day and she said when you start doing homeopathy by the time you finish, you'll still know nothing. And I'm still going, what sort of a course is <laughs> But it is so vast and it is so changing. But it's just lovely because it doesn't work on the physical body as such. So like herbs, it doesn't leave an implant on the body. It works on the immune system. It works on your gut feeling. It works just to bring you back into balance very gently. And it just, it does so much with just a small little, three little volumes or four little volumes. As I had one guy that said, Jesus, I absolutely floored him. And he said, I couldn't believe with just three little volumes that you could do that. You yeah. Know? Because the body will actually slow you down. So sometimes when somebody is really needs a good constitutional remedy and a good slowing down, the body will actually make you tireder. And this is healing. So always listen and stand back and sort of say, what is going on in my life? What is the body telling me to do? So I suppose on Saturday, I'm going to be there talking a little bit about homeopathy, hopefully getting people involved, getting people interested, getting mothers, because it starts from pregnancy to labor to afterwards, all the way up along. The great thing about it is you can take it no matter what stage you are in life. Um, and it does, it works with all medications, so it's fine. There's no counterindication, so that's brilliant. But also on the day, I think every little mom that's coming along should have one of these in their house. When I go to bed at night, this is what I, I'm, I'm a mum. <laughs> I'm not a homeopath. So when I wake up two or three o'clock in the morning and somebody has a cough or somebody is sick, this is my go-to beside my bedside locker. This will be going on holidays. It's, it's practically empty actually. So I'll have a nice fresh one <laughs> for you on Saturday if anybody is interested or you can, I can take orders for it. Um, I so what sort of, um, is that like um, almost uh, a first aid kit for homeopathy where it would have all the main ones that people would need for, for general ailments that they'd have, like let's say on holidays and that? Exactly. All the acute, there's some as well that you can even try, you know, for, but I wouldn't recommend, I'd come to a homeopath, whoever's near you or myself or whoever, but yes, exactly for We'll say the sunburn, cantharis is a great one for that, or even exposure too much sun, belladonna would be a great one for that. High temperatures, belladonna again. You see, the, the thing with, with homeopathy is a lot of people say, oh, I tried that, but it didn't work. But because they tried it because the one down the road told them to take such a thing. Yeah. Homeopathy is very, very individual. It's very, you really have to kind of look at the remedy, match the remedy. It's like cures like so. You have to match the remedy with the symptoms. If you're matching the, the remedy with the, the symptoms of the person down the road, that's not your symptoms. The symptoms could be very, very near, but the way you're dealing with the ailment or the way the sickness is hitting you. Like you say, we say saying, somebody, God forbid, I saw an accident yesterday. You could be able to drive on and say, oh, just as terrible, and you, you get on with your life. Whereas I'd be a, a bundle of nerves. So the remedy that you take would be different to the remedy that I need. Do you know what I mean? So it's it's very individual for each for each person. Now there is the usual the arnica, of course, for the bruising, and the hypericum is great for the trapped the nerves. You know, if, God forbid, if anybody got their fingers cracked in the door. Do you know what I mean? Things like that. What one was that? Did you say? Hypericum. It's great. Right. The, the nerves. Hypericum. So, you know, there is the few acutes, the few individual ones that you can say, oh yeah, this, try that and it, more than likely it would work. But if there's different imbalances, 
then come back and, and this is brilliant. You know, it really, really does tell all the information and everything. Um, so that's my main thing that I do. I also do dietary coaching, which I think food has an awful lot to with. But I also bring it back in and I'd nearly do a homeopathic consultation first because I think a lot of ladies out there are trying to lose weight and they're trying to, you know, fit in the bikinis now at this stage. And it's, it's a constant struggle, but their mind, it's all, you know what I mean? So I never tell somebody to go on a diet. I'd always say, and I never tell somebody to do 100%. I'd always say, do 80%, give it a go. And with the homeopathy, you kind of, you give them back into balance. You give them back their power. And you kind of say, well, they kind of feel afterwards, well, I can do it. You know, and if I don't make the 100%, then that's okay. And I think when people are more relaxed and people are more focused, then things sort of go into place a lot easier for them. Also, I am studying iridology at the moment. So I'm looking for people that would be interested in case taking or that I'll take their case. Um, so I need some cases. So I'll, I'll have a, um, a kind of a... a um, what would you say? Uh, something they can sign up for and, and get on to them if, if they're interested. Great. I'm sure that people will be delighted. Um, I see some smiles here and I'm sure a lot of hands going up already. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's very interesting. I like that now. I'm, I'm not going to do the, use the herbs because I think the homeopathy is just works so well with it. So I'm, I, what, I, what iridology does, it kind of takes a map of the eyes. So it kind of gives me an idea of where to look and then I can use the homeopathy in that, in that regard. Oh, so, I love that. That's absolutely fascinating, gosh. And you know, yeah. as well, I know when, um, when you talk about the different remedies, and there again, like the two ladies were saying, Hilary and Therese, because, because we're all so different, there'll be a different emotional story behind it. And I think that's again why we, we look at a person as an individual when we're, when we're doing anything really, but also with, in homeopathy, where if you have an emotional component that would make you more nervous, obviously you'd probably you'd take a different remedy that someone, as you said, that wouldn't, things wouldn't affect them so much. So it's, it's just what you know, these energy medicines really do look at a person as the unique person they are. And it's not just a, a one antibiotic for everyone or a one remedy for everyone. It's so unique. And I think that's why these energy therapies, whilst they might take a little bit longer to work, they get to the root cause of the problem and they root it out forever. <laughs> Exactly, exactly. And as you said, it does, it can, my consultations can be from an hour to, I, do, I let people speak. I don't, I don't rush them. So, because I think you need, no more than the other therapists, they're probably the same thing. You need to get the story. You need to get why they're there. And it's amazing. It, a lot of it goes back to childhood and just that trigger and where they, their little soul, their little heart is just shut down. And you want to open that up in a safe environment and let them and homeopathy can do that so gently. It's amazing. It really is. It just, I don't know. I can't talk enough about it. It really is amazing. And so, I know, as I said, I can't talk enough about homeopathy either. And I don't practice it. I just love it. I just think it works so well. So absolutely. Fiona, um, you've let us know where people can find you. You said on uh, Facebook, didn't you? And um, The Holistic Clinic like to say. Sorry? The Holistic Clinic Lockray. So I'm not far away from, 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 I don't have to travel too far on Saturday. So really looking forward to it. Great. And um, if, you know, if people want to chat to you again, I suppose as well, they can look up there. If they're, if they're listening to this um, webinar after, they can always yeah, contact perfect. you if they want more information. Denise, I'm going to let you finish up last. So I'm just going to say a little bit about what I'm doing on Saturday as well before I forget. And then yeah. Denise, I'll go to you because I know you're talking as well. Fiona, sorry. Thank you for that. It was wonderful. And I look forward to seeing you Saturday. Not at all. So, thanks a lot. Thank you. So as myself, I don't even think I introduced myself at the beginning. Dolores Andrew Gavin is my name. And the, the work I do um, is very much empowering. I'm an empowerment coach and an assertive coach. So it's very much empowering women to, to make the changes internally rather than looking at outside forces to help us. Um, a lot of it's based on my own journey um, and in looking at the curveballs of life and realizing that I can't expect other people to, to change or to 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 make the changes is that our own journey means that we look inside and we make the changes ourselves, so that the outside changes for us, you know, uh, as they say, as within, so without. So I really now do empower, um, I have an empowerment, women's empowerment podcast. And it's all about helping people to become empowered. So on Saturday, I'm an energy therapist because that's another, some of the things I do. And they're the therapies I'll be offering Saturday will be Reiki, which is hands-on healing, very gentle healing, where people will be lying down on a massage table um, 
fully clothed and I'll just be putting my hands over them, working on their energy. Because we're all made of energy, um, we grow, our nails grow, our hair grows. Uh, an energy therapy like the ones we're speaking about and like the one I will be doing, it, Reiki, it's, it's, it's uh, working on your energy to take away the, uh, the blocks that we talked about earlier that are stuck. So it works very much on the emotional level as well as the physical level because during a Reiki session, I work a lot with the chakras as well, which are the energy centers of our body. And I will be doing individual chakra um, healing if that's what people want. But I work with the, the, main, the major chakra of the body and taking away any of the, the blocked emotions that are in these. So as you, you can do um, a scan over someone, you can feel sometimes where they may be blocked. It Maybe it's their throat chakra, so they might be unable to, to speak their truths. Um, you'll just pick up where there's a block on, the person doesn't really need to tell you or anything. You, you know, an energy therapist will be able to, I'm sure with the bioenergy as well, feel these blocks. And then it'll be working on this area to release for the person what they need released. Sometimes during a Reiki session, people will have a, will feel, they'll feel heat or they'll feel cool. You know, or they might say, wow, uh, I, I could feel a pain in my, in my head when you were, had your hand on my stomach. That's because like most of the energy, like all of the energy therapies, it goes to the root. If you have a headache, it might be coming from your liver. So, you know, during an energy session like that, you'll feel really where um, the cause of your migraine is coming or your headache is coming from. Just a quick example. So I'll be doing all energy therapies and little treatments, mini treatments on those on Saturday. Um, I also do other work as well. I'm a shenanic soul care practitioner and an EFT practitioner. But on Saturday, it'll be the energy therapies I'm concentrating on. So you'll find me, uh, Celtic Soul Essence is my personal page on Facebook. I'm also, I run Irish Health Hour, which is what we're on today, which is a national and global health and wellness community. So that's a kind of a side where it's about, it's about sharing like that, what people do in the community. But for Saturday, it's CelticSoulEssence.com. So that's me and what I'll be doing. And last, but by certainly no means least, Denise, I'd like to have you back on again as well, because I know you're talking. Actually, that's right. I'm talking as well. And I'm talking about helping people find their joy. And there again, it's about empowering us to get back that joy. Um, I'll be, you know, there again, what are the blocks that are stopping us? All very unique, but giving you little tips and ways to find out what to find out how to know what's stopping us so that we can step forward into our joy and become more confident, etc. Hello, Denise again. Hello. <laughs> um, right, so my talk on Saturday, um, I think that kind of a lot of people know now that probably about 50% of the work that I do is working with couples who've been struggling to get pregnant. Um, so what I have developed is something called the womb nurture method. Um, and this is a method that can be used from, from menses, so from the onset of periods, right through to post-menopause. And it's about creating um, a healthier relationship with your womb, both on a physical, but a mental and emotional level as well. So, um, and it, I suppose it's come from my own journey. Um, I have one very healthy 21 year old daughter who's about to flee the nest. Um, and I had an amazing pregnancy with her, but um, because of the birth, there were, there were severe complications with the birth which meant that I would never carry another child again. Um, so what I've done is, is developed kind of a way to make sure that doesn't happen for anyone else, because I know that there were techniques that I could have used at the time, both physical techniques and mental emotional techniques to repair that damage. Um, so what I do now is help other women um, repair their relationship with their womb. I teach them how to love their womb. I teach them how to make sure that she's a nurtured, caring place where a baby wants to live for nine months. So that's what my talk is about on, on Saturday. I'm not, actually, to this. <laughs> I'm not actually giving any treatments myself because I want to really make sure that the day runs as smoothly as possible. I want to make sure everyone has a good time. I want to make sure that therapists and the visitors alike get as much out of the day as they possibly can. Um, and I can't do that if I'm going to be giving treatments, but I am going to be available there for anyone to have a, a, a talk to, if this is a, you know something that they're experiencing. Even kind of, you know, the, the pain of, of onset of periods, you know, teenage girls all the time um, I see who, 
it, it, there's fear involved, you know, because maybe it wasn't properly explained to them what to what to expect when they first get the periods, or it's much more painful than it should be, or maybe they're not coming as regularly as as they're expected to. So that's something that can be um, that can be resolved with the womb nurture method as well. Um, and then on the day we have, um, they weren't able to join us today, but there were loads of amazing speakers. Um, one of the first speakers up is is Shane Breslin who writes about the pursuit of happiness and that has come from his own journey through depression and he speaks very candidly very honestly um, about that and, and a continuing struggle that's not something he's completely cured he still struggles with this but he's worked out a way to manage it and mental health is is one of the biggest issues in in Irish health at the moment um, has been for the last five or ten years um, so he has a very important message to spread Sharon um, Sharon D she's a plus-size model um, she runs Miss Curves Island she's going to be giving a very powerful talk about how to love yourself no matter no matter what your size and that's an important message too because teenagers even be you know kind of before teenagers girls in particular are bombarded with images of what they should look like and I hate that word should um, you know but they don't understand that these images are they're managed they're they're photoshopped you know that they're, they're made to look um, to their you know to their best and and of course when when our teenagers try and aspire to that they can't they can't do that and that's when their self-esteem takes a knock so Sharon has a very powerful way of, of um, allowing women in particular to love their own bodies, regardless of what size they are. So that's a talk I'm really looking forward to. I've heard Sharon speak before and she has an amazing message. Um, and then another lady, Joanne Callanan. Um, she's going to be speaking about the importance of sleep. Um, and I've had my own struggles with sleep through the menopause. So, um, you know, I've heard Joanne's talks before and they make a great deal of sense how, how sleep impacts your health. Um, it steals your health really, if, if you're not getting enough sleep, um, because all the repair work is done when you're asleep. So she has some very good, um, and effective techniques for teaching us how to, how to get our sleep pattern back. Um, so there's many more speakers. We have 10 speakers in, in total. We're looking forward to hearing them all speak. I'm very excited about the day. I have, I was getting very nervous about it and getting sleepless nights about <laughs> was everything going to run smoothly or not, but I've, I've kind of handed that over and my, my mantra this week is it'll be what it'll be. Um, I don't think there's going to be, um, a perfect run through on the day but it will be what it'll be. And I'm really excited. And I'm so excited to have everyone on board. Um, everyone's just been so positive about this. And it, it, you know, I know that everyone who's gonna be there on the day is as excited as I am. So that's, even if it's only us, it'll be what it'll be. <laughs> it'll be fantastic, Denise, because I think there's such a, a, a va even us speaking here today and, and you know, the different types of uh, ways that people will, will realise they can help themselves. It's all empowering people really to take the next yeah. step, whether it's yeah. taking one of Sharon's products or whatever. It's looking at our emotional, it's, you know, introducing homeopathy. It's the, mm. the womb thing, which you talk about. That is a whole area that, um, you know, the how women, re how young girls, and I know lots of moms do speak to their daughters about when they get their first period, but it's still quite taboo in society, the way, you know, the way... They probably get slagged with boys or whatever, you know, and all that. And that's one thing actually that um, that I sort of will do something with my red tent cir circles on in the future. It's an area that I'll, I'd love to empower young girls as well going forward. So anyway, let's watch this space. So love all that. Girls, does anybody want to unmute and say anything um, before we finish up? Or have you all, did anyone forget to say anything or... Or not. If not, um, Denise, fair play to you for organising Saturday. It will be wonderful. Um, thank you each, each and every one. Hilary, did you want to say something or three? No, no, sorry. I just, I was just going to say thanks very much as all. Really. No problem at all. I, I was just going to say, I didn't mention, but I'll be, I'll be doing a raffle for probably one of my reflexology treatments. Um, I've got to mention that, but um, yeah. Sorry, you, Denise. Sorry, sorry, Therese. There was just a bit of background noise there. So if everybody could unmute until except Therese, um, you can just say that again because I think we missed that. Yeah. 
I was just uh, starting to mention earlier that I will be doing a draw on the day and it's most likely probably going to be a reflexology treatment. Mighty. Yeah. Great. So, thanks so ladies, again. thanks very much. And um, we'll have the recording available for people later. So thanks to everyone for joining this morning. Thanks to Denise again for organising the day and for you ladies for giving up your time to let people know. And until Saturday, see you then. <laughs>